Hello, Bubby McSquickums here, and it's time for Lords of Shulama, Episode 3. That's right, my Let's Play of this game is underway, and, well, I'm having quite a bit of fun with it. Now, before you guys scream and yell at me, uh, nobody's done it yet, so either nobody's paid that much attention, I breezed past it too quickly, or, hey, maybe it just didn't exist. No, I noticed that this rock was lootable uh, when I was watching my videos in the rendering process, so I wanted to take care of that. I also want to do this... Because I don't think it matters. She just might not have been able to detect it. I don't think it matters that she's on the front row or not. In addition to that, in the update about two days ago, they realized that the game might be slightly too hard for people who are not really, really uh, experienced at these games. Like me, I've never played a game quite like this. I played games similar that had aspects of this game. And uh, other games that had aspects of the game as well. But nothing that was kind of complete like this game is. So what they did was, and I'll show you here, they decided to add the difficulty to their options menu. So you're able to actually scale it back. So originally it was easy, normal, and hard. Now it's, or something like that. Uh, now it is normal, old school veteran, and then you can't actually upgrade your difficulty level, but you can always downgrade. And um, the final one is like expert or hardcore or something like that. So, originally, normal was supposed to be for more veteran players that uh, have played several games like this. And the easy setting was for people who are new, like me. So, there's a very real possibility that I'm going to be terrible at this game at some point because I haven't played enough of these, i.e. any of these, and I'm going to fail epically. But we'll see. We'll see. So, we're going to have to start taking some risks because if we don't, well, we're probably going to end up losing. Um, so we're going to go in here and we're going to do battle. Now, it seems like we're always on a timer because of the food. So we'll see how that all plays out. Um, the spider is not my friend. I'm hoping that we can actually survive it. It does seem pretty dodgy and hopefully... Ooh, it entangled us. I don't know what entangling does. Oh, there we go. Evasion's down, combat speed's down, and the action modifier is down as well. I don't know what any of that means, but it sounds bad. So we're going to hope that we can actually hit, but it seems like everybody has a 50%-ish chance to hit, maybe a few or higher. And right now we've had three people miss in a row. There we go, we finally hit, and a critical hit at that, which put a pretty big bleed on them. So I'm pretty excited about that. That's pretty good. And that stunned him. Now, I don't know what stunning does. I wish I did. I'm not entirely sure. I would assume that if he's stunned, he would skip his turn, but... Oh, you know what it does? Okay, I do know what it does. I'm, I'm a fool. Basically, what stunning does is it gives us a 100% guaranteed sh uh, chance to hit the guy. So that is what the stunning does. It does not skip his turn like I assumed. But if you hit him once, he actually becomes unstunned. So, okay, that's good to know. So you could pass maybe somebody who wouldn't hit very hard, and then use somebody who would hit hard off of the stun to actually do significant damage. So that is pretty good. That's pretty good to know. Hopefully we hit that. If we do, we're going to be looking really, really strong right now. Only 13 hit points remain. I'm probably... Well, you know what? I'm going to risk it. I'm just going to go for broke here. We stunned him, and that gives our wizard another shot at killing him. We're going to do 4 to 5 damage, or we're going to do 8 to 12. We're going to go with the 8 to 12, of course. And there we have it. We didn't actually lose that much, and things seem to work out pretty good for us. So, I'll take it. I'm pretty excited by that. And bam, just like that, we are looking pretty, pretty good. Pretty good. It looks like our torch might have been nearly burned out by this point. I'm not entirely certain. Nothing to do over here at the skeletal place, but we are going to take a rest. We're going to rest until all the characters are healed, which should be far less than eight hours. It is. He still has nauseous on him. I don't know how to cure that. That might be something I'll have to look up or play around with maybe off camera so I don't waste a lot of time or ruin the LP by doing something dumb. Maybe resting 24 hours and actually losing out on... Oh, there's a rock over here that I can loot another lockpick from. Apparently rock picks are thieves, and they're thieves of thieves. They actually take the lockpicks from the thieves themselves. So, a little known fact about rocks. Yeah, they like to steal stuff from people who steal themselves. All right, well, we're not going to walk around anymore. We're going to do some running, because running, it just feels feels right. It feels better. All right, now, we could go up in this direction and deal with another spider, which, eh, I think we're going to have to deal with any anyway at some point, so maybe we'll just go and man up and do that right now. So let's go fight another one of these spiders. Now that we know what's going on, it's going to be a little bit better. 
Yeah, well, it looks like we're going to start off with our, our missed combinations again. Oh, but we started off hitting, which is pretty good. Let's see if we can land the stun. Oh, that's unfortunate. I would have liked to have landed the stun. But I don't like the way my party uh, takes its turns here because I feel I feel as though having this guy right after this guy stuns seems to be somewhat counterproductive, if that makes any sense. Well, he managed to cut himself because he's awesome. This is the guy they gave us, ladies and gentlemen, Gao Lin. The man who cuts himself. I think he might be a little bit emo. He doesn't really have the dark eyeshadow or anything like that, but it's okay. It's okay. He feels things, guys. He feels things. All right. Well, this is not going well. And he is poisoned once again. The bleed is nowhere near as effective. There we go. So that's not too bad. He's stunned for three turns. I'm tempted to skip the turn, but again, to what end? You know. To what? You know what? I am gonna. I'm gonna do this. He should stay stunned, and he did, and that's going to give him a 100% chance to hit. And that is pretty good effect, effective use of my abilities, and I to follow it up with that, that wasn't so bad. He's no longer stunned, and he's actually pretty hurt. He's only got 12 hit points left. He's entangling, which means he's not doing damage. Now, if we're lucky, and it looks like we might be, oh, no, maybe not. We well, should be able to finish him off with our sparks. And there we go. And that is going to be sweet, sweet, nice. It cures poison, and you can target it on yourself. You can use items in this game, guys. I haven't really done that yet. It is a, an option, a possibility, something that we can and should probably end up doing at some point. We just don't need to just yet. All right, well, that doesn't look like it's something I can loot. This does, but that guy seems very, very unhappy. All right, at the... End of the cave, you observe with horror a skeletal body and threatening battle armor. You've encountered strange creatures before, but never have you seen the living dead. From where you could, or from where could such a great evil have come from? I, I don't know where you came from there, guys. I just kind of snuck in there. I was like, from where you came from, there comes from another thing that came. What? I, I don't know. I have no idea. Um, I, I figured some other stuff out that I didn't go over yet. So here's where all your skills are. Your combat skills. So we have axes, swords, bows, and crossbows, armors, and perception. In addition to that, here is our nature abilities, and that's where we get knowledge of herbs. Camouflage is another one of his abilities. And then if we had any magical skills for him, they would be here. So we do have magical skills for me, Bumpy, and there it is, Sparks is the only skill that I know. In addition to that, it shows that I have pole weapons and daggers available to me, and armor. And if we look at any of the other fellows, they also have all of their stuff here. And I don't believe anyone else has... Sorry. <sighs> Lockpicking, trap, disarming, of course, is there. But any of our combatants shouldn't have any of that. Now, I believe this is a divine realm. It should show our paladin's heal. And there it is, the aura of healing. Which, in addition to everything else, we could cast right here, right now. And, in fact, what I'm going to do is... I am going to try to rest. I thought I could rest. Uh-oh. I stepped forward. I didn't actually mean to do that. This could go very, 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 very terribly for us. Because he hits really hard and puts a massive bleed on folks. So we'll see what we can actually manage here. We're probably going to end up losing some folks. I really, really didn't mean to do what I did. It's fine. We're going to use the spell of Sparks 2 to do more damage to this guy. And it uh, wasn't super effective. Um, we're looking at Gao Lin, see if he can actually do anything useful. Yeah, he managed to do something there. We're going to have to just try and beat this guy to death. Maybe we can get some bleed going on him, and there we go. And then if he can actually hit... Oh, he managed to cut himself too, because again, he is amazing. Alright, we're going to try our Aura of Healing. It should be enough to keep him from dying for now. And now, now he's completely gone. So our paladin is out of the fight. Our mage is now exposed, which is not a good thing to be if you're a mage. Looks like our rogue is ready to shoot, or a thief as it were. I am going to once again use the additional scroll and do some more damage to him. Let's see where he's at. He's about halfway dead at this point. We are not looking good at all. A little bit more bleed damage to him, but I don't think he can bleed because he's a skeleton. He is an undead, so... That's not really working for us at this point. Um, we probably should move Kalark over, I want to say, or maybe move Bumpy under one of these other folks. Him being there is probably the worst possible place for him. Oh, he's going to go after him. Oh, wow, he actually dropped him in one shot, too. 
This is not a good sign. This is pretty bad, but we're just gonna have to man up and fight him. We don't really have any other options. If we backpedal at this point, we're pretty much gonna die. We're probably gonna die anyway, but we'll see. Maybe we get through it, and maybe we manage it. I don't know. I honestly don't know. Alright, we did some decent damage there. There's 12 hit points remaining on him. And, oh, that's unfortunate. So we're gonna have to hope... Oh, if he doesn't kill our wizard here... Nope, he did. We would actually be okay. Now we're in a pretty precarious position, because there's no guarantee we're actually gonna hit this guy. Oh, and he moved far away too. That's that's not good. And he's dead. So now we basically just wait for death, I guess. And he's gonna move over and get to hit us first too. So I mean, the, there is a possible. Oh, he critically failed. So there's still the possibility that if we land this attack, we win. I think everybody gets experience, though I'm not 100% certain. So that is a victory for us. It's a messy, sloppy, nasty victory, but it is a victory nonetheless. The party still gains experience, even though they're all dead. Now, here's the cool part about this game. If I get the get to the point of being able to do it. Um, if we make it to the part where we can actually rest again. We can actually rest. Ah, Dobrik's Ring. That was, one, that was a quest of why we're here. So, that is always beneficial. And we're going to have to pick some locks. So, that's not good. That's not bad. And there? Nope, there it is. Alright, so we picked our way through. I don't think we lost anything. The bejeweled chest had a lot of gold in it. We're going to take that because we are definitely going to need money. And in here is some shining violet liquid. And we're going to have Shiny Bob drink it. And he gained one point of energy. That's not terrible. So at this point, we still can't quite rest. I don't know if it's because we're too close to spider webs or if this thing down here that shows there's enemy close. It's causing us issues, but we need to get back to the point where... There we go. Alright, so that just went down to yellow. And it basically says a great number of enemies are lurking in the area, but none are actually close. So we're going to rest here. We're going to have to rest for a full day, which is going to drain a lot of our food stores. But it will heal up all of our people to full and get rid of all that stuff. I still don't know how to get rid of nausea, though. It's a sickness. That's the one thing I haven't quite figured out yet, but in spite of everything, we managed to get through that uh, relatively unscathed, I guess. We managed to get through. We're about halfway to our next level. We're still we're still hurting pretty bad, though. Let's, let's be honest. We're not looking very good. Alright, we're going to reapply our torch. And there looks like there's uh, several rats here that want to play with us, so we are going to go and do battle with the rats. The rats say... I do, or good day, or hello, or something, so we're just going to say what's up, and we're going to deal with them. We're going to try to pick off the weaker rats first, that way they just can't do damage. The big rats are going to take longer to kill, and they're probably going to do more damage overall. That was a lot of damage done right there. That is not a good sign. Um, but if we can eliminate the other rats, it's just less damage done to everybody. See, because they still hit pretty hard for nine. Wow, that wasn't enough to finish him, huh? Okay. Alright, well, if it's Galen's turn at any point, we're going to use Galen to actually heal up this guy. Um, yeah, we'll, we'll be okay. Let's see if I can take him out. Alright, so he's out of the fight. There's no more threat there. Mm, yeah, alright, so what we're going to do is go here to our inventory up top. We go to the consumables, and we're going to go with a healing salve, and we're going to click on... This guy, and bam, 20 hit points are restored. We are looking mighty fine once again, and we're going to also throw the Aura of Healing out. Now we're going to get double rat, rat slapped. Hopefully we can avoid it. Not 100% sure that we can. Oh, Galen died. I didn't see that coming at all, to be honest, guys. I figured that we had that more than taken care of, so that was pretty disappointing. But again, Galen kind of sucks. He has his usefulness, I mean, don't get me wrong, but he is one of our weaker characters as it stands right now. We really need Smiley, er, Smiley, Shiny Bob to actually do some, uh, some stunning and some work, but unfortunately right now he's like, nope, I'm just going to be deflective. I'm going to deflect with great aplomb, and he's going to, oh, see, he bled to death. Alright, now we can actually stun, so there he goes, he's stunned for one turn. 
He's stunned, critically hit, and stunned for two turns, which means that's a guaranteed hit, and a followed guaranteed hit, and a kill. So overall, not too, too bad. I don't know if there's a way of resurrecting the guy without resting, because I really don't have the food stuffs, food supply, food stores, whatever you want to call it, to actually do anything. So that is pretty unfortunate but we did complete a quest and right now as it stands I'm a little concerned hmm I'm a little concerned with continuing with a weaker party and without enough food to bring anyone back so we're gonna have to back up unfortunately we only have 900 food or 900 gold which is not a tremendous amount it's not tiny by any stretch of the imagination but I don't think it's enough to do what we need to do so we're gonna back up we're gonna head back to town we're going to hopefully dodge avoid and hope, I guess, that we uh, hope our way to town. We're going to hope our way to victory and not get caught by anything or killed or attacked or ambushed. We're just going to run back down. We're going to go... I, yeah. I guess we could probably resurrect somebody at that temple. Maybe that'll work, and that's going to be cheaper than using up all of our food. So we'll, we'll give that a shot. I don't know, but we'll give it a shot and see. Allow me to bless you. I need... Spiritual help. I have been cursed. We are not cursed, okay? I require healing. Uh, Gaolin needs to be healed, and he is fully healed, and that was only 28 gold. That wasn't so bad at all. And it looks like Mutanot with that poison is actually really, really expensive to heal. 104 gold to heal the poison, so we're going to do it. Unfortunately, I don't know any other way of dealing with it. So that is really nasty. Um... Uh, we're Allow gonna pass to for rest. now. Maybe That's all we need to know. So he is back up and running. We got the ring back for... Oh, who was it? Was it this late? No, it wasn't. The, well, maybe it was. No, no, it was uh, someone over this way. Oh, look, all that stuff regrew. It was, um... Was it her? I don't think it was her. Shop. No, I don't think it was her. No, no, I don't need anything Goodbye. right now. I'm sorry. I don't remember who I had to get the ring for. That's uh, kind of sad, actually. <laughs> Alright, so we'll run around town a little bit here and see what we can figure out. It wasn't him, for sure. I don't think it was this dude. He wants me to pick more of this stuff, which I will do. In fact, I'm going to do it right now, but not to give him... I'll give it to him later, but what we're going to do right now is this. Huh. I thought I picked all these cereal plants. Maybe I used them? Let's see here. Can I do it now? Ah, here we go. Increase reserves up to a full day. Alright, that is excellent. And we got this. At one point of mental resistance. Um, well, I think we're going to go with a Mutanot for that. Oh, we've chosen down here. Alright, well, we'll apply it there. He's got some mental resistance. Alright, so we'll just run around and do that. And any time that we can do this, it's going to be pretty nice because we can either get gold from him or we can increase our food rations, which is pretty sweet. So we're going to make sure we gather up all the food that we can here. I mean, yes, we're apparently farmers now. I know. Not exactly the most glorifying thing you'd think of when going into an RPG game like this. But you know what? We have a role to play, and we will play it, and we will be proud to, well, have food to actually eat and maybe quest that we can finish because we have the food to eat? I, I don't know. It all plays off of itself in some way, some fashion. So I wonder who in the world needed the ring back. I'm quite curious. Um, maybe I'll take a look at my quest log. I'm sure it'll tell me. So is it this my quest log? It is Active Missions, Dobrik's Ring, Azalea of Veligorn, or Veligarn. Who's Azalea? So it's Villager, Villager, his name Wooly? His name is Wooly. Is that her? No, she's a Villager too. It's not her. Not him, hmm. Well, I'm sure you guys are screaming, Oh my gosh, I can't believe you forgot, it's right over. 
but I can't remember for the life of me where it was. Huh. This is pretty, pretty rough. The town's not that big. How, do, how am I missing this? I'm so confused right now. Where could it possibly be? How am I missing this? I, uh, I don't know, ladies and gentlemen. I don't know. I thought it was like one of the first couple of people that we talked to wanted the ring. And I just, I'm totally not seeing it. Maybe it's... Welcome to my inn. No, no, it's not this. Man. Come back soon now. It says villager. Maybe I'll talk to her. No. Nope. Well, ladies and gentlemen. Oh. Let's see. Norwick. Drogo. Atlantia. There's a rat cave, but it's not telling me... Hmm. Maybe... The farmer needed it? No? I don't know. Oh, I'm an idiot. Never mind. I know, what does, I know what's going on. I, I'm completely retarded, guys. I apologize. You talk to him. You turn it into him. Alright, so I would like to see the job postings. Okay, mission's completed. And boom. Accepted. I forgot that he gave me the quest, and then we turn it back in. We actually got a lot of money, and we got some levels. Sorry, there are no more requests from the villagers at Veligarn. Come back later, and perhaps we'll receive some new requests. All right, thank you for now. I must go. Farewell. And we got a couple levels out of that. So we'll take a look. I'm not sure how the leveling up works, ladies and gentlemen, so we'll figure this out together. Oh, okay, so I hit that, and I'm in the level up menu. We have four skill points to allocate. Select two different attributes to improve. That's always a good sign. So we want strength and constitution. That's the general rule when you're playing a, a fighter or a warrior class. So that's excellent. And we are using a sword with him. So we're going to do one sword. Uh, we have three more skill points. We're going to do armor because, well, why not? And then we can actually train up any of these things as well or save our points maybe can we save our points we can learn bodybuilding what does this do increases maximum hit points we can learn rage which it looks like oh wait this is Calark oh I'm sorry I thought he was mutant I am completely wrong we want axes on him forgive me forgive me forgive me um, armors uh, allows us to carry more maximum armor weight. That's not too bad. And, yeah, I think that's okay. We'll roll with that. Rage increases our critical hit chance by a certain percentage. Um, uh, I kind of want to go with axes, but I don't have enough skill points to finish off what I need. And how do we how do we finish this off? Is there like an accept? You have skill points available. They will be preserved, but will only be available on your next level up. Yes, that is exactly what I want. Thank you. All right, so that was pretty sweet. We're going to level her up as well. Chimera is going to level up. She is our resident thief, and we're going to go with a spirit. Or that's speed, okay. We're going to go with agility, and we're going to go with speed. Let's make sure agility is indeed... Um, weapon hit chance and proficiency of weapon effects. So it looks like strength is the damage of physical attacks. I'm wondering if we still need to increase her strength to have her hit harder with ranged weapons, because I don't see anything that necessarily says ranged weapons specifically. Defense against physical. Ability to equip complex weapons. Hmm. Chances to successfully cast a spell while afflicted by wounds. Interesting as well. Uh, speed is time of recovery between combat actions. Alright, so we definitely want to go with speed and agility. So if we can get her really, really fast, I think we'll be we'll be pretty good. She already hits more frequently than any of our other fellows. It's because of the agility bonus that she has. We're going to go with bows and crossbows, of course. Um, I suppose armor's okay, but we don't really need it. So I'm going to do actually one of each of those. Actually, I'm not. I'm going to do... 
I'm going to take that away. I'm going to do one in perception because I'd like her to be able to see them a little bit easier. And what does meditation do? Ooh, okay, the maximum mana. All right, so I like that for her uh, skills. I think that's pretty good. And we're going to roll with that. We were about 25 minutes in, guys. Things have gone okay. They haven't gone fantastic. We got a decent chunk of money there. We got some good experience upgrades. Maybe we can buy a better weapon. Maybe that's something Greetings. we're going to do. Let's take a look at what you have. You have... Let's go with... Uh, let's go with her. Do you have any ranged weapons? Doesn't look like he does. What's all this stuff? Undo, identify... Oh, we can probably sell some stuff too, can't we? Alright, well let's, let's do that. Rat Fang, uh, it may have some value crafting ornaments. I don't really care about that. Okay, so we're going to do that. We're going to get a little bit of money. Does it tell us how much we've got on the table at this point? I don't know. I don't think it does. Uh, what else do we have? Um, so we can actually just gobble this stuff up, or, or eventually we can. All right, that's fair. Alright, well, we're just going to go with that, and I think I want to get a different weapon. I kind of want to get a, a big, like a big axe or something. But I think right now we're just going to leave it the way it is. And we're going to maybe, maybe we'll get some additional armor. 20 weight. I don't know how much the fellows can carry. So you know what we're going to do is we're going to end that. Soon. We're going to take a look. Let's take a look at the different folks. Carry up to 16, carry up to 11, carry up to 23. So he's actually really, really capable of carrying a lot of armor. Do we have any additional armor that others can't carry? We do not. Okay. Well, we definitely need to up our armor, but you know what we're going to do for now? We're going to go. We're going to try to do one more little thing before we break out this episode, guys. So please bear with me while I run over this direction and I try to get... There was a group of guys that we didn't fight down. Ah, uh, here's your money. Whatever. Don't come back here. Apparently they don't like it very much. This group right here. So it's a little troublesome, but we might be able to manage it. So we're going to give it a shot. It's going to be a risk, but again, we're, it's worth taking if it, if it pays off. So... First thing we're going to do, we're going to take a look. This guy has 42 as opposed to the 24 of the others. I think we're going to focus on the left guy first. 77% and we miss, of course. He's going to attack. He did hit, but he did hit very, very lightly. And critical fail because our guys suck. It's okay. They will get stronger as time progresses. That's not a terrible thing. We're going to try to torch this guy a little bit. We're really going to try to push getting these guys killed off as quickly as possible. There we go. Good critical hit. He's pretty much done at this point. Um, I'm going to risk stunning him, and it worked, so that one was pretty good. There we go. A little bit of extra guaranteed damage on him. That hurt pretty bad, but it's not the end of the world. He's nearly dead at this point. We're going to definitely have to use a healing potion or something on him. He bled to death, that's excellent. And that means that he is now able to do some work on those guys. We're going to focus on this guy next. Another wonderful critical strike. We're not going to torch him, we're going to torch this guy. We should have enough to finish him maybe beforehand. No, we're going to use Smiling Bob again. And by Smiling Bob, I mean Shiny Bob. Smiling Bob is something totally different. For all those of you who remember the Enzyte commercials, uh, that would be where Smiling Bob came from. All right, and he's still hanging in there. Do some damage. I don't remember what axes did as an advantage, unfortunately. I feel kind of dumb right now for not having remembered, but I think it's going to be okay. We're going to try to finish this guy off without throwing a heal if we can, and then we'll just use our provisions to <clears throat> push us over the edge. Oh, good. Smiling Bob. Uh, shiny Bob managed to take it again. <laughs> Uh, that's fine. That's fine, we'll do that. And then Gaolen, is he going to prove his worth? Nope. Well, there we go. Kimiara does the work and the experience and gold for everyone. And a lot of people might actually level off of this or get really, really close to it. Yep, there we go. Everybody else leveled except for Shiny Bob. So, 
first things first, um, you know what? We're going to break out the episode here, and in the next episode, I will actually level it up. So, that's going to do it for me now, guys. And I will see you guys in a few days with the next episode of Lords of Shulemon. <laughs>